QuickBooks Online 2022 Bill Pay. Let's get into it with Intuit. QuickBooks Online 2022. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We set up with a 30-day free trial. Holding down control, scrolling up just a bit to get to that 125%. We're currently in the home page, otherwise known as the Get Things Done page. In the business view, as opposed to the accounting view, if you wanted to switch to the accounting view, it's something you can do by going to the cog up top and then going down to the switch to the accounting view down below. We will be toggling back and forth between the views, either by going here or by jumping over to the sample file, which is currently in the accounting view, so we can get a look at the differences between the two views. We're going to open up a few tabs up top by right-clicking on the tab up top and duplicating that tab back to the tab to the left right clicking on it again and duplicating it again one more time right clicking on the tab on the left and duplicating as those are thinking we will be opening up reports let's see where the reports are located in the accounting view by jumping over to the sample company they would be on the left hand side under reports if we go back on over to the business view currently in the second tab they're located in the business overview section and then into the reports and then we're looking at the good old balance sheet let's close up the hamburger and then go up top and do a range change from 010122 to 123122 and run it and then we're going to go to the tab to the right and then open up our business view and select our profit and loss this time the p and l will close up the hamburger range change from 010122 123122 and run at one more time tab to the right go into the business overview into the reports closing up the hamburger profit and loss and we'll do the range to the change going from 010122 123122 and run it Okay, so there we're going to go back to the first tab now, and we're looking at the entering of bills this time. So in the prior presentation, we entered basically the month-end kind of transactions with a check. Now we want to look at the bill and the pay bill kind of transaction. We'll enter more of the month-end kind of bills in the pay bill area next time. In other words, if I hit the drop down up top, we entered some of the bills last time with an expense form or a check form. You could use an expense form if you weren't writing a check, but it had some electronic transfer. And uh, as opposed to entering the bill, which increases the accounts payable and then paying the bill. Next month, we'll enter some of those same kind of transactions, but with the bill form. This time, we already have a transaction that we put in place with a bill form, but we did it when we entered the beginning balances in for the first vendor that we put in place, which was Epiphone. And now we're gonna go through the pay bill item for it. So to do that, there's a couple ways you could get there. You might then say, I'm gonna to go to the get paid or pay area, basically looking into the vendor center, which is at the bottom here. If you were in the accounting view, it would be in the expenses tab. And then in the vendor area on the right hand side. And then we can go into, I'm gonna close up the hamburger. We can look up the person that we're paying the bill for which in this case would be epiphone we could say epiphone we could see that we owe epiphone that fifteen thousand with the uh bill that we have to pay we could schedule a payment here we have the drop down options to uh, mark as paid view or edit or schedule a payment we can also find that that bill information that is outstanding by going to the list of transactions i can do that by going to the hamburger up top and then in this view it's in the bookkeeping area which is different than the accounting view but once you get in there it's basically the same we can go to the transactions and then close up the hamburger and we can go to our expenses tab and the accounting view that would be under the same kind of tab the expenses and then you got the tab up top the expense tab so a little bit different of a location between the two views there you could then filter if you so choose we could filter type by the bill form 
and we might look at the status and look at open bill type of forms and then say apply and then we'll have our bill. That's another way we can look through this information. And another way we can look through it is by just hitting the hamburger up top and go into the plus button. And now we're just gonna look through the pay bill section. So we, if we entered the bill as we did in the prior presentation with the beginning balances, we could sort those bills with the pay bill area. So if I go into here, this isn't really like one form in essence. It's basically a, a pay bill area where we can pay multiple bills. There's only one bill at this point in time, so we don't have much problem with sorting the bill or anything like that. But if we had multiple bills, we could sort the bills and determine which bill uh, and or bills we would like to pay. So it's gonna be coming out of the checking account. We're gonna say the date is going to be, let's say the date is going to be the 28th, let's say and the check number we'll keep that as the check number now if there's no check number you can delete you know the check number here so it doesn't basically populate another check number if there's going to be some payment that's decreased in the checking account that is not a check number and then we can say if you were to print the checks you can check this box off that would mean you would have pre-printed checks that you would put into the printer and print along uh, on those pre-printed -print checks meaning they already have the checks outlined and you're going to print this information related to this particular uh, check, which would be the name and the amount and so on and the date. And then we're going to check off the Epiphone here, that, which is the one that we're going to be paying off. When we enter this, what is going to be entered is a decrease to the accounts payable. That's what the pay bills form means. It's in essence just a check, as you can see here, because you could actually write the checks with it but it's given a special marker or indication that it is a check that is paying off the accounts payable uh, instead of another check type of form, which could be going to any kind of account expense or asset type of account or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and not schedule the payment, but simply pay it at this point in time. So we will save and close it. So I'm gonna say save and close. Let's go back on over to our report, starting with the balance sheet, holding control, scrolling back up a bit. We're in the cash area, drilling down on the cash, zooming into it, and then I'm gonna zoom back out so we can see what we did. Scrolling down, we've got our form here. Notice that it's a bill payment check form. That means it's still a check form because it's a form that's decreasing the checking account, but it's not like a normal check in that it's going to be decreasing or the other side, in other words, going to accounts payable. If I was to go into it here and drill down on it, we get to a, a form that looks similar, but possibly not exactly like the form that we saw before. It's a bill pay form here, which is the item that we're using to pay down the accounts payable. And it's linked to, of course, this bill. If we wanted to know the thing that we actually purchased, we can then link to the bill here and then see what the bill was used to purchase. In this case, we put it on the books when we entered the beginning balance for the vendor of Epiphone. So we'll work more with bills in the second half of the course. Let's close this back out. Let's go back then to the report. And then the other side is gonna be in the accounts payable. Accounts payable back down to zero now. If I go into the accounts payable and I look at here, we got the cash. So the bill payment form, bringing it back down to zero. We can also look at a sub ledger related to the accounts payable, which would be the vendor balance detail or vendor balance summary. Let's go to the tab to the right to do that. Right click on it and duplicate the tab. And then let's open another report because that'll be good times. I like when times are good. Let's have some good times. We're gonna go into the business view and open up the reports so we're in the reports and let's scroll down we're scrolling down who owes you no that's not what we want this is when we owe what you owe that's where we're at vendor balance detail let's take a look at the vendor balance detail nothing's in it because there's no bills outstanding but i'd like to see more detail por favor so let's hit the let's hit the more detail ops or customization go to the filters here and let's say I'd like to see the AP detail, please. And then we'll say, okay. And there we have it. So now we've got the Epiphone, there's the bill, there's the pay bill. It goes in, it goes out. We got two types of forms, bill and then the pay bill, which is basically a check, which is what we would expect. Let's go back to the first tab. We can also check this stuff out and see what happened in our centers. Let's go to the get paid and paid center and let's go into our, our uh, Epiphone, let's go into our vendor 
Epiphone. That's the word I'm looking for. Spit it out, would you? Would you spit it out? Here's the bill payment check, and there's the bill. If we were going to the accounting view, it would be in the expenses area in the vendors section. We can also check it out by the expense form, and we can take a look at the bill that was paid with the bill payment item. By going up here, it would be in here, and that they put it into the bookkeeping area into transactions up top, closing then the hamburger, and we're looking at the expenses. And then we can filter this thing. There's no bills left anymore, by the way, open bills. We could look at the bills that were all bills and then check that out. And we got this bill, which has been paid. If we go into that bill, just to, just to take a look at it, we'll see that bill and we can see it's paid right there. And then you can go to the payment. You can link it all out. It's all linked up. And you can actually go to the bill payment form, which is super, super nifty, super nif D. And then we're going to hit the drop down. We can then go, I'm going to check out, let me check out the pay bill forms, if I may. Apply that. And there's the pay bill forms. I may, I may apparently do that. And I did. So let's go back on over. That's, that's going to be it. Let's go back to the trial balance. The trustee TB. Where did the trial balance go? I opened the profit and loss twice. Nobody told me this. You didn't tell me. I'm going to open up the hamburger, go to the reports, and open up the trial balance, trial balance, and then close up the hamburger. Let's make a range change from 010122 to 1231.22. Run it. Hold on. 1231.22. Run it. Hold on. Uh, control. Scroll up. This is where we're standing at this time. The debits and the credits up top. And if your numbers match out to this, great. If not, then try a date range change. It's often a date range kind of issue. And we will be looking at a transaction detail report that can help to distinguish what the differences are at a later date.